In this video, we are going to solve these four questions which are from previous year SNAP papers. I suggest everyone to take the screenshot of this slide, try these four questions by yourself, then come back to this video. Let's start with first question. A batsman was having 32 runs per innings as his average after 15th innings. His average increased by 2 runs after 16th inning. Then what was his score in the 16th inning? So question says that average after 15th innings is 32 and the average after 16th innings is 2 more that is 32 plus 2 is 34 everyone. So we need to find runs scored in 16th inning only in 16th inning only everyone. So there are two methods to solve this. First is you can directly multiply and then subtract. So the total run scored in first 16 innings is equal to how much everyone? Average is 34 into number of runs scored. It's average is 34 into number of innings are 16 minus the total run scored in first 15 innings is equal to average is 32 into number of innings are 15. Let's do this multiplication and then subtraction. 34 into 16 it's 16 into 30 is 480 16 into 4 it's 64 480 plus 64 is 4, 544. 32 into 15, 15 into 30 is 450, 15 into 2 is 30, 450 plus 30 is 480 and the subtraction is equal to 64. So the number of runs scored in 16th innings only is 64. Secondly, we can use a deviation method here. When 16th innings added, average becomes 34. Now over here, average increases by 2 means the number of runs scored in these 15 innings also increases by 2. So the total increase is 15 into 2. But that 15 into 2 is because of the run scored in 16th innings. That is why the run scored in 16th innings becomes 34 plus 15 into 2 that is 30. This addition is 64 runs. Let's have a look at next question everyone. Question number 112. The least number which is a perfect square and is divisible by each of the numbers 14, 16 and 18. So we want a number which is completely divisible by 14, 16 and 18 means we need to find the LCM of these three numbers everyone. So we know that 14 is equal to 7 into 2, 16 is equal to 2 to the power 4, 18 is equal to 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 2. So the LCM is going to be 2 to the power 4 into 3 to the power 2 into 7 to the power 1. We want a number to be multiple of this means into k such that after multiplying it by k the resultant number should be perfect square. For number to be perfect square in its prime factorization every power is supposed to be multiple of 2. Power of 2 already multiple of 2, power of 3 already multiple of 2 but power of 7 is not a multiple of 2. If we want power of 7 to become multiple of 2, we need to multiply it by 7 everyone to get least possible number. So the value of k is supposed to be 7. So this number becomes 2 to the power 4, 3 to the power 2 into 7 to the power 2. So let's multiply this. This is going to be how much? This is going to be 16 nines are 144 into 49. So you can, what you can do is 144 into 50 minus 1. 144 into 5 is 720, that is 7200 minus 144. So the answer is going to be 7056. That is option number 2. Let's have a look at question number 113. Four people clap after every 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and 50 minutes, respectively. All of them clapped together at 10 a.m. Then they will again clap together at what time? So we want all four people to clap together. First time they clapped together at 10 a.m. After that everyone is having different interval of clapping. 
फर्स्ट पर्सन आफ्टर एवरी ट्वेंटी मिनट्स सेकेंड पर्सन आफ्टर एवरी थर्टी मिनट्स थर्ड पर्सन आफ्टर एवरी फोर्टी मिनट्स एंड फोर्थ फोर्थ पर्सन आफ्टर एवरी फिफ्टी मिनट्स वी वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ देम टू कम टूगेदर सो इट इज अप्लीकेशन ऑफ एल सी एम एल सी एम ऑफ ट्वेंटी थर्टी फोर्टी एंड फिफ्टी इज वॉट द स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर विच इज मल्टीपल ऑफ ट्वेंटी आल्सो थर्टी आल्सो फोर्टी आल्सो इज वन ट्वेंटी Now the smallest number, which is a multiple of 120 also and 50 also, it's 600. Means after every 600 minutes, that is after every 10 hours, they will clap together. So first time they clapped together at 10 o'clock a.m. So second time they will clap together after 10 hours. 10 hours after 10 o'clock a.m. is equal to 8 p.m. So at 8 p.m., all four of them are going to clap together. The answer is option four. After this, question number one one four. Three candidates A, B, and C participated in an election. A gets 40 percent of the votes more than B. C gets 20 percent votes more than B. A also overtakes C by 4,000 votes. If 90% voters voted and no invalid or illegal votes were cast, then what will be the number of voters in the voting list? So look here. A gets 40% votes more than B. 40% means two fifth. A gets two fifth votes more than B. Means if B gets five votes, A will get two votes more than B. That is, A will get seven votes. And C will get twenty percent votes more than B. Twenty percent is one by five. C will get twenty percent votes more than B. Twenty percent of five is one, so C will get one more than five. That is six. So this is the ratio of number of votes received by A, B, and C. Now it is given that A also overtakes C by four thousand votes. Means the difference between votes. Of A and C is four thousand. So the difference between A and C is how much? One. This one represent how much? Four thousand, everyone. So total is how much? A plus B plus C. Total is how much? Seven plus five plus six. This total is going to be eighteen. If one represent four thousand, this eighteen represent how much? Eighteen into four thousand. That is equal to seventy two thousand. Are the total number of valid votes casted? But what is the question? We don't want to find the total number of votes casted. We want to find the total number of voters in the list. Question says that only ninety percent voters are going to cast their vote. So ninety percent represents seventy two thousand. Everyone. So ten percent represent how much? Divide both sides by nine, you will get ten percent represent eight thousand. So if I add hundred percent represent eighty thousand. So the total number of voters in the voting list are eighty thousand.